I wanted to ask you, do you think Joe and Hunter's shady deals with Burisma in Ukraine and China will play a part in his election? And if they do rig it up for him, will he make it four more years? Or will Camelotor Harris have to take the reins? Yeah, I, I, I get it. You know, uh, neither Joe Biden nor Hunter Biden uh, actually ever went to Ukraine. Uh, Hunter was on Burisma's Are board, and, and he got paid Are for you that. Crack, dude? Um, I beg your pardon? You're kidding me. You no. got to be kidding me. No, he never went, they never went to Ukraine. No, he never went to Ukraine. Joe never went to Ukraine and made. Joe, Joe Biden went to Ukraine made it. When, when he was there to stand with Zelensky. But I'm talking about when his he son really, was on the board of Burisma. Neither one of them went to Ukraine for that. That was done from uh, within the United States, number one. Number two, all of the charges that there was some sort of a bribe being paid to them. Uh, have been shown okay. to be Russian disinformation. These were lies that literally came out of the Russian intelligence service that were laundered through Facebook and Twitter that apparently you've bought into. Certainly most MAGA, okay, most Republicans have bought into. So no, I don't think that it's going to influence anything. You know, it's it's been revealed to be BS. I bet the quid pro quo. I, I am Joe wondering said, though, if the millions of dollars in, in patents case, that Ivanka got and the two billion dollars that Jared Kushner got out of their their time in the White House, if that's going to have any influence on the election, I would think so. I mean, it, it, it's clearly I mean, taking two billion dollars and then Ivanka taking, you know, tens or maybe hundreds of millions of dollars in goodies from China. That's got to reflect badly on Donald Trump. Don't you think, Thomas? He sells shoes. What does Hunter sell? He sells shoes. What does uh, Hunter sell? Who's Besides selling what? No, Ivanka was given Ivanka patents by the Chinese China. government that are worth enormous amounts of money. Okay, but what about the quid pro quo? What do you mean, okay? Told, what's, what's the quid pro quo the there? Quid what, what did Donald Trump do? Told, what did he give to China he, in exchange for China showering gifts on his daughter? He, he didn't give Jing Jing nothing. He just gave him... I think he did. I, you know, I, I think, that, I think he, he, he. Uh, I, I think he might have sold out our country. I think he might have been selling them secrets. It might no, be why he was stealing Joe, all those documents that's from the your White boy House. Joe, where y'all rigged the election? That's your boy Joe that uh, sold us out. Yeah, that's again, your you know, the, you're you're echoing Russian propaganda and BS coming out of the GOP. There, there was no rigged election. You the election think, was just fine. That, Sixty that, different that, courts, including that, the U.S. That. Supreme Court, looked at that and said, "There's nothing wrong with this election." <laughs> Tell me the honest truth. Do you think this decrepit old Alzheimer's patient is fit to be in office? No, I don't think Donald Trump is fit to be in office. I really don't. No, I'm talking about your your fucking spinster. Yeah, I'm sorry. I you know you can't use language like that on the phone on the air, Thomas. And and let me flag him for future calls here. So, you know, it's sad. You know, uh, uh, for some reason, right wingers always feel the need to swear. Uh, oh my. Yeah.